Hello everyone, this is Carol Soul, founder of Soul Coaching. I'm here today to give you some tricks and tips about halter breaking a cow. You can see me here in this video, that's me with the pink hat with a somewhat reluctant belted Galloway heifer. She had been halter trained about six months ago at the Martha's Vineyard Ag Fair. So this was really just a refresher for her. But as you can see, she's a little bit reluctant. She doesn't really want to uh, follow the lessons that she learned six months ago. Another problem is that I'm using a halter that's way too short. You can see her buddy here, Naya, who is being quite good with the lead rope and halter. So what we've done is we've taken the lead rope from Naya and put it on Keegan, Higa, the cow that I'm working with. And as you can see, that extra length gives me a lot more leverage with Kiga. I can put the rope under my butt, lean on the rope, lean back, and now I have way more control than just holding onto a short rope. So as you can see, she leapt up in the air. She didn't hurt me, but she did come forward. So that was exactly the response I wanted. However she did it was fine. She leapt in the air, but she did come forward. So I'm kind of giving a reward right there. I put my head down and let her sniff my head. Well, she wasn't too interested, so I'm doing some more leaning. Notice I still have the rope securely tucked behind my butt, not on my back, not on my waist. It's down in the important part where you can actually get some leverage. So here she's still being resistant, but as you can see, I have pretty good control. I'm still holding onto the rope. And I came over to a fence and I've put her on another fence post and she did not get away, which is the key to effectively training. Now here's her buddy, Naya, walking over. And Keegan is kind of getting a reward now because Naya is nearby. And let's hope that Higa will follow Naya. That would be the that would be the goal. So Kika's still a little resistant. And watch this. See how she's using the downspout to try to lock herself in? But I got her nose around the downspout. And I'm also keeping her in this fairly closed area so she can't pull me across the paddock. You'll see. Uh, the paddock's quite big, but this little area gives me a little more space to work with Kiga. Now, one of the now see she did get away, she got away, but I can easily grab the rope. Got to be careful sometimes. Sometimes it will kick, but she isn't kicking. So I grab the rope, and I think she's got all of her her feistiness out of her. So we're going to give her a little reward and let her walk behind her buddy Naya, but first I'm going to do a little bit more in the corner here, make sure she's okay. Putting the rope behind my back again. I'm not too concerned anymore that she's going to pull away. See how she's walking now? And there's the bigger paddock you can see that I didn't want to get into. And she's kind of blocking me. She's kind of gotten in front of me there. We turned. And she's actually, I could tell she's actually going to be pretty good. She's following her buddy. That's a reward. And you can see she's doing real well now. Cows are pretty smart. It doesn't take them long to figure out that it's not worth it to fight the halter. She's still, she's still a little bit, like, not pleased with me. You can see how she's swinging her tail just a little bit. To put her head down. That's a trick that the cows do. They try to get their head down, and they know if they can get their head down, they can get away. She does have me cornered there, and I got by her, and we're going to keep walking and following her friend. And here we are. So Naya's acting up a little bit, but that's good. They've done well. Now, this is at. Um, a farm 
in Martha's Vineyard called Slough Farm. And uh, it's a nonprofit farm where 4-Hers and anyone can come and, well, for nonprofits, where people can come and learn how to deal with cattle. And we hope. That's Julie in the front. She's the farm manager. Uh, and she uh, she's hoping that these two heifers will be calm enough for some of the 4-Hers to work with some of the older ones. So you can see I dropped Hegan's halter there. And he Hegan's not running off. She says, oh, OK, I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to run off. That's good training, too, to drop them and then come back and see how I could come back and pick up her halter. And I'm putting the rope behind my butt again just to show that it gives you a lot of power to do that. You can control a big animal. He gives probably 600 pounds, and I don't want to admit it, but I may be 160 pounds. So the weight difference is quite substantial. But you can see with the correct tools, you can control a cow. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this with a the first time out. The first time out, you want to get a halter on them and then tie them to something secure so they fight with the secure post and not you. I want to thank Julie Scott. There she is dancing with her cow, Naya. Julie is an amazing farm manager at Slough Farm in Martha's Vineyard. We hope to do more work with Julie and her 4-H kids in the future. This is a great place to learn and grow and connect with cows. See you all later.